Over the past eight years, we've managed countless brands on Amazon and managed hundreds of thousands of ad spends. And we've seen that, you know, when we start out with these brands, they are not managing their ad spend effectively, or they, they are not spending effectively. Okay. They're, they're leaving a lot on the table by not doing some of the things I'm about to go over with you in this video on how to maximize that ad spend. And also this will also in turn help you cut wasted ad spend. So just to jump right into, I put together this quick presentation to help you guide you through it. Let me minimize myself here. So first of all, this is all going to be based around these three key metrics. This is really important. And then from here, I'm going to give you three tips that are going to help you, you know, maximize again, maximize your PPC spending effectiveness. Okay. And get the most sales possible. So these three key metrics, first of all, are sessions click through rate and conversion rate. Okay. So the sessions, that's just the traffic and volume to the product listing click through rate. That's just your ad relevancy and appeal. You know, how, how good is, does it look? Does your title look good? Is, does your main image look good? Is it attractive? Is it going to draw them to want to click through as they're scrolling through hundreds of products potentially. And then that product desirability factor, once they get into the listing, is it you know, is the copy good enough? Is it compelling? Are the images uh, describing the product? Is it showing off all the the problems they're trying to fix? Is it illustrating that well enough? You know, you want to be as clear as possible. Allow them to make a quick buying decision. So you need to be thinking about that when you're putting all that together. Okay, so from there, first tip is just, again, standing out, sell big. And so again, with that in mind, First thing we're going to go over is how to you know, stand out so you can make more sales. Um, and this, this is a big area right here. This is probably one of the most important things is, is the main image. And this is your secret weapon. Okay. So you need to have high quality photography or 3d rendering in some cases, uh, where if, if, if it's applicable for your product, a lot of times you can get away with a 3d rendering. If it's like a supplement, for example, um, but other products you might that are more complex designs, you may need to have a photographer. So definitely invest in these things. You can at least get the photographer to take, you know, the main shots you need of the different sides of the product. And then from there you can use AI. There's lots of different apps out there that you can use, or you can, or you can hire a graphic designer to do a lot of things with that image, put it in different settings, et cetera. Again, uh, we've seen huge advancements with AI that can, that can even make it to where you can do all of this yourself. And we can go over that in a later video. Um, next thing is with this main image, you need to make sure you're taking up the entire amount of real estate you have available. If you have this, you have this square white square, and you, there's all these other products out there and your product is not filling that space that you have that little bit of real estate you have, you're going to drastically miss out on a lot of traffic just because of that, because the other products are just going to simply stand out more than yours. Um, the transparent background, this is very important. Also, Amazon ha wants you to do this because it, it, I mean, in general, it just makes it look cleaner. Um, but it's also Amazon's terms of service. If you don't have a clear, transparent, or they say white background, but I mean, it needs to be like perfectly white. So that's why they say transparent. Um, and then maybe where it just shows only your product and then maybe you add maybe a little prop or something. And we'll go over that here in a second with like vibrant colors. You can add in a splash. You'll see like a vitamin C serum that they've done like a splash in the, like right behind the bottle, for example. Um, that's a good example. Just search vitamin C serum. You'll see what I'm talking about. So, and you can test different colors with that. Um, and this is something you can do a split testing to see what's going to work best for your product with different color schemes, depending on your brand and that brand color scheme also, um, clear and readable text. So this is something you need to think about, uh, when you're designing your logo, when you're designing the label on the bottle, whatever it is, the packaging, you want it to look nice, but you also, and you don't want to be, to be over cluttered. You need, it needs to be clearly readable. Cause again, you have to have in mind to where when that's on Amazon and they're scrolling through, some people are going to be more visual and they're going to be looking through the images, the main images of the product to see what they want versus having to read each title. Okay. So if your product can have clear, readable, bold text that jumps out at them, 
that's going to be huge in helping that click-through rate that we talked about, okay? Um, avoid additional text. So again, this is what I meant by you know clutter. So if you have too much text on the packaging, this is going to clutter it up, make it, you know, again, less harder to read, less uh, easier to read as they're scrolling through quickly. You need to focus on the main text that is most important, that is most relevant to what that person would likely be searching, okay, uh, when they're shopping on Amazon. Um, and again, like I mentioned previously, regular split testing. So whether you're, you know, testing out different color schemes, different angles of the bottle, different hero shots, um, there's all kinds of different things you can do, uh, different props, okay? Look at your competitors. A good tip for this is look at your top 10 competitors and see the different types of things they're doing. And one, you can either test, you know, a couple of different things that they're doing, or you may be able to think of a way, something that they're not doing uh, and try that. But again, Amazon allows split testing within Amazon. Now, if you look up manage experiments, you can do this within Amazon now and you can run your own split test over like eight weeks they recommend and you can figure out what is going to work best for your product to maximize that click through rate so if you're you know you're talking about main image and drawing them in amazon will literally show you after that split test which image is going to give you is, has the best click through rate and is going to give you the best potential going forward and so you don't have to guess anymore um, next enticing deals so this is another way to again put that put that PPC ad spend on steroids with additional deals so you need to leverage when when possible lightning deals and seven day deals okay so every person on the planet likes a deal it's like human nature they're always looking for deals and especially on Amazon they're getting shoppers know Amazon they know where to find the deals there's a deals page you'll get featured on this page um, you know, there's going to be people that are shopping specifically by just going to that page. Uh, so you'll show up there. I mean, you can literally go. And so if you're selling vitamin C serum, you could go to the deals page, search vitamin C serum, and you can find the serums that have the deals and yours could be showing up there. So that's pretty powerful. Um, and along with that. So again, buyers deal seeking behavior. That's what you need to be thinking about. So again, capitalize on that buyer's deal seeking behavior. And again, when you're running the pay-per-click ads and you're showing up in the top of search, especially if you're in a more competitive niche, your product will show up there in that, you know, top four spots where you have other uh, brands running their ads, except yours will have a red, a bold red tag that shows whatever discount that is right there. Usually it's a minimum of 20% off when you're talking about this type of deal. Um, but it's, it's very pow powerful. It grabs attention and it's much more likely to get that click through and conversion. Uh, tip number three. So this is really big and this is something you need to, you need to be thinking about from the very beginning from when you even launch your product, but especially when it comes later on, even with PPC, as you're continually optimizing, because your keyword indexation is not something you can just set once and forget it. You need to be continually iterating with this also um, to index for more keywords and target these. And you can use your PPC efforts in conjunction with this. So hopping right in. So yeah, from the very beginning, you want to be doing strategic keyword research. So using tools like Helium 10 and Cerebro, where you can do a reverse ASIN search on your top 10 competitors, for example, and you can figure out what are the most high volume keywords that your competitors are ranking for and which ones of those are most relevant to your product. Now, an additional tip of that, you may not always want to go with the most high volume keywords right from the start, especially if your product isn't ranked that high yet. Maybe you need to be looking or yeah, if you don't have the, the spend available, you can maximize your budget by targeting, you know, keywords that are longer tail, as they say, with multiple words in that keyword that are much more specific to your product versus just vitamin C serum. Maybe it's a organic vitamin C serum. Maybe it's organic vitamin C serum for face. You know, it, the longer the keyword you can get, the more specific 
and that can help you to drive down ad costs and just become more relevant and you can rank easily for those keywords. So again, you want to focus on high volume search keywords. If you're, if you have the budget available, this is always good to drive more sales. But again, if you don't have the budget, focus on lower volume, higher relevancy, build your way up. Um, as you rank higher, you'll more easily rank for those higher volume, more competitive keywords. But at the same time, yeah, again, if you, if you, everything else is maximized on your listing, everything looks good. You have plenty of reviews, your copy's good. Your photos are good. When you run your pay-per-click ads, it's going to be very easy to get a lot more sales in the door. So again, when you run your pay-per-click ads and spend is not as much as a, of a concern for you and everything is optimized, um, you can really take advantage of that high volume of traffic that is actually searching for that specific high volume keyword. So if you implement the tips that I've gone over in this video, this is going to help you maximize these three key metrics and in turn maximize your sales and rank on Amazon. So yeah, hopefully this helps you guys as we've seen a lot of brands out there not doing the things that I'm talking about in this video and they're already running a lot of ad spend. So they're, they're just missing out on a lot of potential or they're wasting a lot of ad spend by not doing these things. So yeah, be sure to like and subscribe as I'll be going more in depth on some of the points I've talked about in this video. And if you have any questions about any part of this video, definitely leave a comment down below and also let me know if there's a specific piece of the video that you'd like me to elaborate more on. I could, you know, put that video at the top of the list as the next video I make. All right, guys, see you in the next one.